Sevilla won the Europa League again. Conte and Banega decided to fight. Messi is already disappointed with Kuman. Ibrahimovic informed Milan about his future. A part of Barca's management wants to sell Messi. Will Barca keep Messi? What was Maguire arrested for? How come Mourinho insulted PSG? Whoa, there's a lot of shocking news in football today. Subscribe on our channel, ring the bell and you won't miss anything. Guys, we are done with the Europa League, but the Champions League is waiting for us. Write your predictions about who's gonna be the main hero of the finals in the comments below. And now, press like and let's get started. Done? Let's go! Manchester United's captain Harry Maguire was arrested by the police on a Greek island called Mykonos for a fight with tourists near the bar. Barcelona will sell midfielder Rafinha to Lazio for 12 million euros. Manchester City is interested in Aston Villa's leader Jack Grealish, writes Athletic. Juventus leads in the battle for Lyon's playmaker Hussam Awar. Barcelona started the negotiations with Donny van de Beek's agent. The Catalan club offers a six-year contract to the player. Juventus broke the contract with Gonzalo Higuain and Sami Hedira. Chelsea is actively negotiating with Thiago Silva. A Brazilian may move to the Blues as a free agent right after the Champions League finals. Milan and Tottenham are going to agree soon on a transfer of Oria, affirms The Times. Borussia Dortmund's players are sure that Sancho will stay in the club for a new season. Wolverhampton is interested in Sevilla's winger Lucas Ocampos, Sky Sport informs. Marseille's midfielder Dimitri Payet has coronavirus. Barcelona announced that Henrik Larsson will become a part of Ronald Koeman's coaching staff. Chelsea has almost signed Leicester's left-back Ben Chilwell, The Athletic informs. Roma hopes to make a buyout of Chris Smalling from Man United and buy Napoli's defender Nikola Maksimovic. Liverpool hopes to sell halfback Marco Gruwich for £20 million and spend this money on Thiago Alcantara's transfer. Cristiano has been missing Karim Benzema at Juventus. Raul Jimenez perfectly fits this role, thanks Juve's former coach Fabio Capello. Diego Simeone is afraid that Atletico will lose Thomas Partey and Jan Oblak this transfer window. I think it's a failure that they didn't win it in the two seasons before, because for five or six years the investment is crazy, thinks Tottenham's head coach Jose Mourinho. Kuman informed Alba, Busquets and Suarez that they are not in his plans. Milan will extend a contract with Ibrahimovic for a year, a Swedish will earn 6 million euros a year plus bonuses. Bayern scored 42 goals in one UCL season. That's the second best result in the history of the tournament. Manchester United is ready to fight for Kante if Chelsea will decide to sell a French, writes Mirror. Igor Tudor, the head coach of Hajduk, became Andrea Pirlo's assistant in Juventus. Serge Gnabry was named the best player of the Champions League this week. Bale is wasting his time at Real Madrid. I would love Gareth Bale to return to Tottenham. German national team's ex-head coach Jurgen Klinsmann. Fiorentina is going to loan David Zappacosta from Chelsea for next season. Moussa Dembele is willing to leave Lyon if Manchester United will come for him again. Real Madrid will resume an interest in Mbappe only next year, as informs. Chelsea and Russian national team's former coach, who's hitting, took the lead of Curaçao national team. The Europa League finals and League One's opening took place yesterday. The results are in front of you. And now, let's switch to the main news of the episode. Are you still with us? Let's go! Sevilla beat Inter in the Europa League finals with a 3-2 score. A Spanish club became the winner of this tournament for the record sixth time. The teams played the first half on high speed and with a bright score of 2-2 in Köln. The score was opened by Romelu Lukaku in the fifth minute of the match. Then Luke de Jong scored twice and his team was ahead. But Diego Godin quickly equaled the score till halftime. In the second half of the game, the teams fought till the end, but in the 74th minute, Diego Carlos struck with a bicycle kick and scored a winning goal. By the way, Spanish's strike was precise because of Romelu Lukaku, who scored in his own net, although this goal was recorded on a Spanish center back. That's how Sevilla won the Europa League again and left Antonio Conte's team without a trophy.
It was a magnificent final. The head coach of the Spanish team, Julian Lapategui, commented on the game. These guys never give up. They would be great even if they lost in the finals, but we won this very important title in a tough game. Inter's manager Antonio Conte said this. It was all about the details. Lukaku wasn't lucky with an own goal. In the next two or three days we will meet with the management and discuss the plans for the future, with or without me. In any case, Inter had a great season. And now let's talk about a heated scuffle that appeared during the match between Inter and Sevilla. The head coach of the club from Milan, Antonio Conte, almost had a fight with a midfielder of the Spanish team, Ever Banega. In the 18th minute of the match, when the score was 1-1, Conte demanded another penalty in the opponent's net. The referee, Danny Makili, ignored the Italian and showed him a yellow card. The emotions of a passionate Italian definitely annoyed Sevilla's halfback, Ever Banega. They had a scuffle in which the player gave a hint that he will deal with Conte by tearing his hair off. Enough, shut up, we'll see later if your hair real, said Banega. Conte responded, I'll wait for you after the game. It was a very hot night in Germany. Lionel Messi wasn't impressed with Kuman's assignment as a head coach of Barcelona. According to OK Diario, the leader of Blaugranas thinks that the style of the game that Kuman's prefers doesn't fit for the team and the CV of the Dutch specialist looks unconvincing. The source adds that an Argentinian tends to leave Barcelona more, especially including Manchester City's interest. Also, Lionel feels anger towards the president Jose Bartomeu. He thinks that he is guilty for the club's failures. Blaugrana's bosses are different. Some people think that an Argentinian has to be in the team whatever happens. Others think that selling Messi will help to shorten the club's payroll and give Barca an opportunity to buy a number of new players. What side do you choose? Write in the comments. Guys, if you want more quality content and actual news, subscribe to our project called We Know Football. The link on the video is in front of you. Click and watch. That is all for today. Bye-bye.